Hello and welcome to Restoration Weekly, Episode 2. This week we're covering the restoration of Hanley Page Victor XH648, the last existing B1 model Victor and possibly the IWM's most impressive restoration project. A bit about the Victor. The Hanley Page Victor is a British strategic jet bomber designed by Gustav Luckmann, a German aeronautical engineer whose works also included the invention of the leading edge slot. A fixed aerodynamic feature of the wing of some aircraft to reduce stall speed and promote good low speed handling qualities. Anyway, sorry back to the Victor. The Victor first flew on Christmas Eve in 1952. However, it was introduced nearly six years later in 1958. Along with the Vulcan and the Valiant, it formed part of Britain's intimidating nuclear deterrent. Although the Vulcan took centre stage, the Victor was more advanced and had a much larger bomb bay, allowing a heavier weapons load to be carried. The Victor saw lots of variants due to its long service life and extensive use, including the B-1 strategic bomber variant, its original intention, the B-1A two-point tanker variant, of which six were converted, one being X-8648, and even proposals for troop-carrying variants. The Victor saw an impressive 35 years of service, with the last tanker aircraft being retired in 1993. Up until 2020, five Victors remained. XM715 at Bruntingthorpe, XL231 at Elvington, XH673 at Marham, XH672 at Cosford, and finally XH648 at Duxford. In 2021, Marham's XH673 was scrapped, leaving four Victors surviving today. Now, a bit about XH648. XH648 first formed the 27th of November 1959, and was stationed at RF Honington, from December of that year. During the Indonesian confrontation, it dropped a full bomb load, the only Victor to ever do so. When the Vickers Valiant fleet of tankers was grounded due to spar fatigue, XH-648 was one of six B-1s to be converted to two-point tankers. 648 was retired to IWM Duxford in June 1976 and was initially kept in a good condition, with some of its features still functioning, such as the large bomb bay and also the flying controls. However, like most things, with time this had to stop, and the airframe sat on the apron next to Shackleton XF708 for the next four decades. In 2011, XH648 was moved to the relatively new Airspace Conservation Hall with XF708. However, it was far from not becoming a part of scrap. IWM announced in 2016 that a long-term, in-depth restoration of XH648 would commence to protect and conserve the aircraft for years to come. So, that leads us on to the restoration. In 2016, XH648 was dismantled and towed to Hangar 5, conservation in action, for restoration to start. The lengthy task of paint stripping was first, followed by an in-depth check for corrosion due to its time spent outdoors. From here, the landing gear and air brake were rebuilt, as well as repaired to many of the components. However, for an aircraft that had spent most of its life outside in the elements, it was in good condition. The aircraft was repainted and five years later, rolled out of the general aircraft shed. It was towed back to the conservation hall, where it was dismantled half a decade ago and reassembled, and now lives there to this day. The restoration is one of the most in-depth and impressive in recent history. Hopefully in the next few years we will see XH648 move into a more formal display position in the refurbished airspace hangar, as it's now 16 years old. If you want to learn more about XH648 and the restoration, I've linked IWM's own video covering it in depth. Right, that's all. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.